The Pixel Buds Pro have been released and you're probably wondering, what do these earbuds bring to the table? Well, today I'm gonna to be showing you a complete beginner's guide covering how to get started with these earbuds, what's new, and the best tips, tricks, and hidden features for these Pixel Buds Pro, like the active noise cancellation and transparency mode. So let's dive right into this full beginner's guide covering the Pixel Buds Pro and why you should get them. Even though these earbuds are intended for the Android like the Google Pixel 6 or other Google Pixel phones, you're probably wondering if you can use it for your iPhone if you don't have an Android phone. And to answer that question is yes, you can use these earbuds for any of your devices, including all of your Apple products. So if you have an iPhone and you wanna use these earbuds, there's no worries there. You can definitely use them for your iPhone, but this video is intended for the Google Pixel. So I'm gonna be showing you how to use them both on the Google Pixel and the iPhone throughout this video. When you unbox your Pixel Buds, you're gonna see it comes with the earbuds themselves, the charge in case that the buds come in, and an extra pair of buds right here that you can connect to your earbuds. I also wanna let you know that these earbuds case is MagSafe compatible, so you can just place on a magnetic charger and you can charge the charging case that way. This charging case allows up to 31 hours of listening time so it stays charged for super long periods of time. And say you don't have a MagSafe charger to charge your earbuds magnetically, you can also just use your Android's phone charger for the Google Pixel just by plugging it in right here and you'll have that charged up in no time. But this is MagSafe compatible, I wanna let you know. This case is incredible. It does allow up to 31 hours of listening time so I definitely recommend using this charging case with your earbuds. To connect your earbuds to the Google Pixel itself or any other Android phones, all you have to do is flip open the case like this and then you're gonna to wanna to wait a minute and then after you do that, a little tab's gonna pop up on my Google Pixel asking to connect my Pixel Buds Pro. And all you have to do is click connect right here and now your device is ready to set up. And just to check if they're connected, all you have to do is go to settings on your Google Pixel and go to connected devices. And you're gonna see right here that my Pixel Buds Pro are connected right now to my Google Pixel 6. And it's gonna actually show you the battery percentages of the left and right earbud in addition to the charging case. So right now I have both at 100%. And if you want to see more details, you can just click on settings and you can alter your settings that way with your Pixel Buds Pro. I'm gonna walk you through more details about all the different things you can do with these Pixel Buds Pro, but if you click on device details in the settings on your Pixel 6, you're going to see that the left one and the right earbuds are charged at 100% as well as the case. You can forget or disconnect this case if you want to. And then there's all these other options you guys can choose from, but I'm going to dive into those later. But this is how you connect your earbuds to your Google Pixel or your other Android phones. And if you don't have an Android or a Google Pixel to connect your earbuds with, you can gladly do it on an iPhone or any other Apple product. If you have one, you do it in a very similar way. You just flip open the case case, you go to settings and you're going to wait for other devices to load down here. As you can see right down here on other devices, it says Andrew's Pixel Buds Pro. And if you want to connect to them, you just click that button right here. And now they're going to be connected to my iPhone. And you can see, just double check by clicking right up here. You can click on the details and you're going to see that these are connected to my earbuds and you can listen to your iPhone if you don't have an Android this way. And say for some reason that the earbuds are not showing up on your phone, whether it's an Android device or an iPhone, all you have to do is just hold down this button right here. And that's going to contact the Bluetooth on your phone and then it should appear that way if it wasn't appearing originally. All you have to do is just hold that down and then you'll be able to access your Bluetooth and connect your earbuds right away. Before I dive into all the features that come with these Pixel Buds Pro, I want to show you what the earbuds actually look like when you take them out of the case. And as you can see, I've already tried them on, but they are a perfect fit for all ears and they're very comfortable when you put them in and you'll see for yourself as soon as you put them in your ear. It doesn't feel like your ears are being plugged in any way and there's sensors on these earbuds that actively measure the pressure in your ear canal so your earbuds can relieve it and stay comfortable and I've noticed this already while using them so trust me guys when you put these in your ear you're going to feel more than comfortable while walking around or using these earbuds and these earbuds have touch controls right here I'm not going to dive into these yet I'm going to dive into it in a little bit but there's super cool features you can use by just tapping the earbuds right here and I'm going to dive into those later but this is what the earbuds look like they're super comfortable and they make for a great fit for your ear so definitely try this out I'm sure you guys will all love them if you have a pixel or an android phone one of the best features about the pixel buds pro is that can connect and you can use Google Assistant with them just by speaking through your earbuds. If you have a question, you need to find any information, send a text message, you can contact it through your earbuds and you'll be able to have that help with Google Assistant. So let's set that up by clicking Google Assistant in our settings right here. It's gonna take us to the Google Assistant app. It's gonna say, use your voice to do more with your headphones and let's just click next right here. And then you're gonna wanna click turn on right here to access and have Google Assistant available. It's gonna pop up and say, Google partners want to work with you to assist you and help you. So let's click continue right here. 
and now it's going to load and you're going to be able to access Google Assistant for YouTube Music, Video Player, Playbooks, SoundCloud, and so much more. As you're setting up Google Assistant, you're going to actually have the ability to have Assistant read your notifications to you while you have your earbuds locked in. So to hear mere messages, calendar events, or other important information, you can give Google app access to your notifications, then you can turn this off at any time if you like. But now whenever you receive a text message or any important information, Google Assistant is going to speak directly to your earbuds to notify you. So let's click next right here. And you're just going to want to click allow notification access and you're going to want to click allow again. And now you can also keep getting personal results on the lock screen on your headphones as well. I recommend turning this on and now your Google Assistant is ready to use. I'm going to show you how to use it right now. Now, since we have Google Assistant set up, if you just hold down your finger on the earbuds and just ask her anything, you'll have it ready to go. So let me show you how this works. I'm going to hold down the earbud right now. Hey Google, take me to the Google Play Store. And just like that, she took me to the Google Play Store and that's how Google Assistant worked and you can contact her for anything you need. And just to show a physical representation of this since the earbuds were in my ear the last clip, if you wanna contact Google Assistant, all you have to do is just put your finger right here. You're gonna hear a little beep through the earbuds and that means Google Assistant is ready to listen to any of your commands and you can ask her anything you like or have her pull up anything that you need to. So that's how you wanna do it. You just have to put your finger right here. Google Assistant will pop up and you can contact her whenever you need her. After you get your Pixel Buds, I definitely recommend going to the Google Play Store and download the Google Pixel Buds app. And by downloading this app, if you click open, you're gonna see all the device details for this specific earbuds. And if you go down, you're gonna see all this information that you can use and utilize when using your earbuds. This just helps you get a better understanding of what the earbuds come with and all the features that come along with this device. So definitely download on the Google Play Store if you haven't already, and you'll be able to use your earbuds like a complete pro this way. Now that I walked you how to set up and utilize Google Assistant, I wanna walk you through some of the other details that come on this device details section to get a better better understanding of how to use your Pixel Buds. So first we have Find Device, and you can actually see the last time you were connected to your earbuds by clicking this Find Device section. If we go to it and click right here, you're gonna see it says, turn on Use Location and Location History in your phone settings app to see when the earbuds were last connected. And say you lost one of your earbuds and you have the other one in your ear, you can click this right or left ring in your earbuds to see where they are and you see if you can hear them if they're near you. And by clicking this, you're gonna hear a little ring through that earbud. And if you don't want one of your ears to have that ring, you can just have that mute instead. So it only comes out of one of your earbuds. So this is one way to find your devices if you were unsure where they were last located. And I definitely recommend turning this on in your location settings on your Google Pixel so you can find your device more easily if you lose them. As you've already seen with Google Assistant, one of the best features about the Pixel Buds is all the different touch controls you have by just touching the earbuds, either the left or right one. And you can activate so many different commands with these features and these touch controls. And I wanna show you a little bit more in detail about how these work. So if we go on this touch control section, you're gonna see all these options for touch controls you have. And I'm gonna show you how to use each and every one of them and how to customize them if you want to. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is just make sure your touch controls is turned on. You can turn that on by just clicking that right there. And then I've already explained how to use Google Assistant by just holding down and touching the earbuds like this. You'll contact Google Assistant. But there's other settings you can actually add Access by just clicking the settings tab right here for Google Assistant. So right here it says customize touch and hold and you can select one option per earbud to access Google Assistant. So for example, as you can see, if I touch and hold my right earbud, it's gonna have Google Assistant pop up and I can talk to my Google Assistant. I also have the option to toggle activate noise control by changing that button right there. And then for the left earbud, it's also gonna be the same. If I hold down on that left earbud, it's gonna contact Google Assistant and I can talk to her as well. Then we also have this change two to three modes to toggle. And right now I have access active noise cancellation turned on and transparency turned on. I'm gonna walk you through all those features that come with the Google earbuds regarding transparency and noise cancellation, but there are some features you can customize for contacting Google Assistant. And remember, if you just wanna contact her, all you have to do is just hold down on either of the earbuds and Google Assistant will pop up, you'll hear a little ring and you can ask her or get any information you need from Google Assistant. If you're still using old fashioned, slow charging and messy lightning charging cables, it is time for you to say goodbye to those. Your phone has incredible mag safe technology built right into it, which allows you to wirelessly and magnetically charge your devices. If you're going to invest so much money into an iPhone, then you should be giving yourself a premium experience, which all starts with something that you need to do every day, and that is charging your actual device. 
Get the absolute most out of your iPhone with Elgear's 2-in-1 Lightning Charging Stand. This stand allows you to magnetically and wirelessly charge both your iPhone and your AirPods simultaneously. Place your phone anywhere on the sleek charging stand and you're going to feel that magnet automatically attach right to your phone. Elgear wanted to make sure that you can use your phone for all of its uses without having to take it off the stand, which is why they included dual coil technology so you can use your phone both vertically and horizontally in landscape mode. This means that you can still send your messages, emails, or anything else, or you can flip your phone sideways and watch your favorite videos and movies while your phone is still being charged in the background. This stand is made with the highest quality materials like metal and tempered glass, and they also put non-slip silicone on the bottom of the stand. Elgear used official MagSafe technology, so you never need to worry about your phone falling off the stand or having to fidget around with your phone to get it in the right position. As I already mentioned, this is a two-in-one lightning charging stand, so you can charge two devices at the same time by using the second wireless charger on the back of this stand. This is perfect for charging a pair of headphones or even a second iPhone. Wait no longer and finally go upgrade your charging experience by going to lgear.com, stop using those old-fashioned slow charging and messy lightning cables, and upgrade to the 2-in-1 lightning charging stand that's perfect for your desk or your nightstand, and it's also being sold at an incredibly discounted rate. So go to lgear.com, the link's on the screen and down in the description. Enjoy! So the next control we have is the swipe forward option, where if you swipe forward on your Pixel earbuds right here, you're going to see it raises the volume. So if we click on that, it's going to show you how to do that. And let me show you how to do this. I have one of my earbuds in my ear right now just to show you guys. So if I swipe right like this, you're going to see my volume is going to continue to increase. And then vice versa, if I want to decrease my volume, I have to just swipe in the opposite direction just like this. As you can see, it's going to start to move down and decrease that volume. The next touch control we have is single tap where you can play or pause any music or answer a call just by tapping quickly with any of the earbuds, the left or the right. And I wanna show you guys how this works. So I'm gonna go to YouTube music right here. And as you can see, the song is currently paused right now, but if I wanna play it, all I have to do is just tap the earbud like this and it's gonna to begin to play. And then if I wanna pause it, I just have to tap it again. And just like that, it's going to pause. And then also if I'm listening to the music like this and I want to increase the volume, all I have to do is just swipe up like this. And keep in mind that both the left and the right earbud will decrease the volume or turn up the volume and play and pause the song you're listening to. It doesn't have to be just one of the earbuds, but both do it. So there's no worries depending on which earbud you like to use that with. And the next touch control we have is double tap and triple tap. So by double tapping the earbuds, the right or the left, it's actually gonna skip to the next track. Here's a demonstration right here. Then also if you triple tap three times, it's gonna go back to the previous track that you were listening to. So let me show you how this works. If I wanna skip to the next track, all I have to do is tap either the left or the right earbud twice and it'll move to the next track on the playlist just like this. And if I want to go back to the previous track, I can triple tap either the left or the right earbud. It's going to take me to the previous track I was listening to just like this. Super easy to use. If you want to skip songs or go back, you can just triple tap to go back or double tap to go forward. But that's how you use these touch controls on your Pixel earbuds. The newest and best feature about the Pixel Buds Pro is the ability to have transparency mode when listening to music or noise cancellation. And by clicking the sound option on device details, so basically what noise cancellation is, is by turning this on right here and clicking this button, basically whenever you're listening to any audio, whether it's music, talking to someone on the phone, or listening to a podcast, by clicking noise cancellation, what's gonna happen is all the outside noise is gonna be blocked off from your earbuds. So you'll just hear the sound of the music or audio that you're listening to, and all the background noise that's coming outside of these earbuds will be completely blocked out. I've already tried out the noise cancellation feature on these earbuds and I can tell you right now that it does a great job of blocking out that outside noise and it does a great job of preventing any other outside external voices or audio coming into the earbuds. So I definitely recommend turning that on if you want to hear clear audio without having any background noise from the outside of the earbuds. So definitely turn that on. You also have the option to turn that off as well just by clicking this off tab. And now let's move on to what transparency mode is. So basically transparency mode is the complete opposite of noise cancellation. And by clicking transparency mode, you'll actually be able to hear what's outside of your earbuds 
that's all the background noises that are coming in if you want to hear what's going on in your surroundings. So by clicking transparency mode, you can hear outside sounds in real time so you can be more aware of your surroundings, like when you're crossing the street or when someone's talking to you. So it depends what mode or what you're doing in the moment, but if you want to have noise cancellation, that's more meant for when you're listening to your audio, you're by yourself, there's nothing urgent or any background noise that you need to be aware of, then transparency mode is the opposite of that. If you want to hear your surroundings, hear what's going on around you, you can turn that on and you'll have a better clear understanding of what's going on and you can hear that audio that's coming outside of your earbuds as well. Another great new feature about the Pixel Buds Pro is volume EQ where you can enhance the bass and treble frequencies at lower volume levels. So volume EQ essentially adjusts the tuning as you turn the volume up or down so you can have the high, mids, and lows consistently sound balanced at any level while you're listening to your music. So I definitely recommend turning that on so when you're listening to any audio, you're going to hear it clear and it's going to adjust based on your surroundings and the volume you're listening to at the moment. So this is one of the newer features about the earbuds and I definitely recommend turning that on to have a better listening experience when you listen to your audio, music, podcast, or even talking to someone on the phone. So definitely turn that on. To also enhance your music and listening experience even better, you can also click on this ear tip seal check section in device details and you can improve your active noise cancellation that way. So by clicking this, basically it's going to say is get ready to check your ear tip seals and make sure you're in a quiet environment and both earbuds feel secure when you move your head and the sample audio play for a few seconds at a raised volume. So this will allow you to have a better check if your ear tips are fully sealed in so you can have a better listening experience. Now, as you can see, it's checking your ear tip seal right now and this evaluation will take around 20 seconds and it's going to allow you to have a better seal with your earbuds within your ear so you can enjoy your music or audio with a better experience. So since my right earbud is not in my ear right now, it goes as undetected, but it also gives me information about my left earbud, which is in my ear. And it says your left earbud might need a larger ear tip or need to be slightly twisted. So this will give you good information on how to access and change your ear tips in your ear so you can have a better listening experience when you're activating noise cancellation mode or transparency mode. And you can restart or finish since my right ear's earbud is not plugged in. I'm just gonna click finish right now, but this helps you get a better experience while listening to your music. And say the ear tip seals or the earbuds that are in your ear at the moment aren't working that well and they're not allowing you to get the best listening experience possible. The earbuds actually come with other sets of earbuds right here in this little case right here. So you can actually just disconnect one of your ear tip seals with one of these and replace it that way. If your ear tips aren't working as well as you want them to, they come with a few in here. So you can just definitely take one off and put one on to see if you get a better experience that way. For more settings and features on your Google Pixel Buds Pro, you can tap this more settings section. And there's a few ones I want to talk about. Right now, we obviously have in-ear detection turns on. So earbuds will automatically play audio audio went in and pause that audio went out and I have one of them in my ear right now. So that's one feature that you guys can check out in this more settings feature right here. And if you look at the top of my screen, you actually have the option to add a widget for your earbuds to your home screen. So let's click this right here and see what happens. You can add to home screen and change the title of that if you want. I'm going to keep it like this and I'm click add and now it's going to add to my home screen right here. And now if we exit out of this app, and scroll, you guys are gonna see that I have my earbuds widget located right here on my Pixel 6. So I can easily access that and click it and see all the device details for these Pixel Buds Pro. Another great feature about the earbuds is they have this audio switching feature that's available by just clicking this right here. You wanna make sure you have that turned on. And basically what audio switching is, is your headphones can automatically switch between audio sources based on what you're doing. So say you're listening to music and you wanna switch over to podcast, it'll audio switch that and now you listen to that podcast instead. It's all depending on what you're doing at the moment, but definitely keep this on so you can automatically switch between audio sources at the moment when you need to. Another great feature about these Pixel Buds is the multi-point option or feature that I actually have to turn on right now. And by turning on multipoint, you can actually connect to two Bluetooth devices at the same time. So say you wanna to listen to your earbuds through your Google Pixel, but you also wanna to listen to it through your laptop or your iPhone if you have one, you can turn this on and now it'll be connected to multiple devices at once. So if you have to switch between your devices, whether it's just switching between your Pixel 6 to your laptop, you'll hear the audio coming out of one of those audio devices at the moment. So definitely turn this on. I'm gonna turn it on right now. So now whenever I listen to audio through one device and I wanna to switch to another, it'll actually be there for me and the Pixel Buds will switch that audio to that corresponding device. And to give you more information about this, it's super easy to switch media between connected devices. All you have to do is just for one, stop the media on the first device or just pause that. Then you can press play on the second device, whether it's a laptop or a different phone. And now that audio will come out of that new device. This is right down here for more information if you want to check that out. But that's how you switch between Bluetooth devices with your Pixel Buds Pro. Overall, if you have a Google Pixel or an Android phone, I definitely recommend getting the Pixel Buds Pro. They have tons of new features that they bring to the table that other earbuds or headphones do not. 
tons of features I already walked you through. So definitely give these a purchase when you get the chance. They're definitely worth it and I love them. I've loved every second using them. I love the noise cancellation and transparency features. These are something new to the table and I absolutely adore them. So if you have a Pixel or an Android phone, definitely get these earbuds. You do not want to miss out on them. I hope you enjoyed today's video. This is a complete beginner's guide covering the new Pixel Buds Pro. And if you found this video helpful, make sure to drop a like and hit the subscribe button for more great content like this. I also encourage you guys to go to appfindvib.com and subscribe to our email newsletter to get the best mobile apps and games delivered directly to your email inbox. And also go give us a follow at PIP, which is our Instagram account. We're going to be sharing the best tips, tricks, and hidden features on all the earbuds out there, iPhones, and any Android product out there. So definitely give that a follow when you get the chance. And lastly, I also encourage you guys to go to bestrewardsapps.com where you can see all these apps that allow you to win incredible rewards and prizes right at your fingertips. These are all affiliates of ours and they're all definitely worth checking out. So thank you guys for watching and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.